Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody. I thought tonight we'd check out another scary one from Sir Spooks. This is top five scary videos to keep you awake. So, let's check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. Alright, let's begin. It's no secret that chicken is one of the most popular and beloved meat related foods in the entire world. It may be hard to believe, but according to Comfy Living, okay, approximately now I'm hungry. 8 billion chickens are eaten in just the United States per year. And as you'll see in this video, it seems that even paranormal entities have chicken cravings every so often. The video in question was published to Reddit, with the uploader explaining, quote, My mom sent me this just now, and I want people's thoughts on it. My mom asks my sister if she wants chicken or a burger, and it sounds like someone else responds to her question. Take a listen. Right back, okay? You want chicken or a burger? I'm that. I hear okay. the house. You want chicken or a burger? I'm that. I hear the house. A deep, growly voice says the word chicken before the video abruptly cuts off. Is this audio proof that paranormal entities have chicken cravings? Was this even a ghost or something I don't know what else? that was. The OP wondered if it could be her sister, but it seemed to her that that would be very unlikely. Her mom also told her that she'd heard the exact same voice over 10 years ago in a different house, which adds a new layer of creepiness to this video. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Maybe something's following them. Today's video... I don't know, though. I think it's kind of... Kind of iffy, you know? I don't know. I don't know what to think about that one. It sounds almost faked. It sounds too clear. And it sounds too... Chicken! It sounds too gravelly and everything. I don't really believe it, I don't think. A TikTok user named Dark Side of Kyle published the following two videos to his account and have been the subject of tons of discussion in the paranormal community online. In the first video, Kyle explains that he was moving into his new house supposedly alone, but then this happened. I think I've seen this one. Go to the right. You gave them lots of time to sneak out. Bullshit. I don't believe that one. As you can see, some lights begin to flicker inside of Kyle's brand new house. And just a moment later, a door can be seen closing seemingly all by itself. When Kyle opens the door to investigate, he finds absolutely nothing. Well, what the go heck is going on? He turns towards the wall. What's the point in that? are going crazy now. Go to the right. In the second video, Kyle is filming from behind this door, which can clearly be seen rattling around all by itself, which understandably freaks out the uploader. When he goes to investigate, he sees a hanging doll. What could possibly be going on inside Kyle's new house? Either way, it definitely seems like moving into this place was a big mistake. Not that he's to blame, because who can anticipate that the house you're about to move into is haunted? Let's hope Kyle can find a new place to I live as soon as possible. I don't mind fake videos if they're at the least, least entertaining or well done. That's, that's just awful.
This highly unnerving video was published to the popular High Strangeness subreddit, which essentially specializes in hosting videos of some genuinely strange things caught on camera. In this particular video, it appears as if this Reddit user has filmed some chilling evidence of a potential UFO flying around I think I've the seen sky this one. over DC in the middle of the night. Take a look. Yeah, I've seen... I don't know if it was this one or not, but I've seen some where there's three of them. Whoa. Like right together like that. Look, they move, look how they move. What the f***? I knew it, I was going to see you something today. Oh my God. That is weird. That's the same thing as they walk across that bridge. They are here. Whoa. It's not flares because look like they moving away. Whoa. I think it's out there. And now Whoa. they're out. One of them is still up. Hmm. The man is audibly shocked by his discovery, and it's not hard to see why. By all accounts, it definitely looks to be a UFO, but there's obviously yeah. no way to be 100% certain. What do you think about Well, I don't know what else it could be. Do you think that this Reddit user managed to capture some genuine proof of the existence of aliens? Or is there a perfectly mundane explanation to this? Let me know your thoughts. I don't know what else below. it could be, except maybe our government. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Imagine you head out to your local Walmart grocery store during the day to get some things for the house. Obviously not thinking anything of it, because why would you? Only to then realize later on that somebody followed you home from the store. That's the situation that this Reddit user found themselves in. They uploaded this video to the aptly titled Creepy Video subreddit and showcases doorbell camera footage of a creepy man walking up to their front door, acting strangely before then leaving. Take a look. A comment from the uploader reads, quote, For anyone asking if you left something, no, there are windows on each side of the doors. Blinds were open but not all the way. He was most likely peeping into my house. I checked to make sure nothing was left and I couldn't find anything. End quote. I think most people would be truly horrified if this happened to them. Let's just all hope that this creepy man How does she never know returns to this Reddit user's house ever again. That he followed her from Walmart, though. Either way, it's, it's messed up. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill uploaded a video on January 20th, 2023, in which he ventured out to an extremely creepy abandoned school where he had quite a number of scares happen throughout the night. As he makes his way through the building, which is incredibly quiet and run down, he eventually hears some rather unnerving sounds and starts to see stuff that obviously freaks him out. What is that? Oh shit. Do you hear heard something as you can see another person with a flashlight appears out of nowhere only okay. to then walk by Chris who's understandably hiding you can never know a strange I didn't even notice in it. a place like that 
About 10 minutes or so later, Chris is recording himself walking into what appears to be the school's bathroom, and it's then which he gets a genuinely terrifying fright. <laughs> okay, it made me jump. Somebody's in Looks there. like a squatter to me. Oh shit. Scared the f out of me. Me too. Hello. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it's a fing toy. What? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. What do you mean it's a toy? The second oh. time he walks into the bathroom, he finds out that it's just a toy, as he refers to it. But the fact that the figure suddenly drops to the floor the moment he looks at it is honestly really strange. Okay. He is then shown well, walking down this long he corridor set it up, when though. he begins to hear something strange coming from above. It's not even a full minute later that Chris gets yet another scare coming his way. Safe is still here. Or was in it? Oh shit. Okay, there was a shadow. And I heard like an animal. It sounded like an animal to me. Now go to the right, around the door, there you go. It is truly unexplainable how that person or shadow could disappear right in front of Chris's eyes. Afterwards, it was nowhere to be seen either. But just as he's getting ready to call it a day, it seems as though whatever creepy spirits or entities are lurking inside of the school decided to give Chris one last scare for good measure. Well, this guy's a little braver than most. Hello? What? Okay, I know I heard somebody coming down these stairs. I'm out. It clearly sounded like someone was running down the stairs. Yeah, it did. But as you can see, there was no one there. Although Chris is clearly an experienced explorer, let's just hope for his own safety that he doesn't venture back to this creepy school for any further investigations. I think he should go back, personally. And that was five scary videos. I well, I thought that was pretty good. That that one was awful. But that last one from Urbex Hill, even if it is fake, at least it was well done. It was entertaining. It gave me a jump scare. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Now you know what time it is. It's time for a joke to brighten your day. They recently found a mummy that was covered in chocolate and nuts. They think it was the famous Pharaoh Rocher. 
Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends. Leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.